Welcome, everybody, to this edition of Attention Talk Video. I'm your host, ADHD and attention coach, Jeff Copper. I'm here to talk about self-awareness, emotional self-regulation, and awareness. Uh, self-awareness is an executive function. Emotional self-regulation is an executive function. ADHD is an executive function impairment. So really want to highlight uh, the notion of these two and just awareness in general so that you can become aware of awareness, self-awareness, emotional self-regulation, and kind of know what it looks like. I find that uh, we tend to be visual people, and if you don't have anything that you can relate something to, it's really kind of hard to understand it. So this is a true story. One day, many years ago, I'm like everybody else out there who has kids. Um, Sometimes I have a tendency to raise my voice. Now, if you listen to anybody who really understands parenting, you should not raise your voice with your kids and you shouldn't lecture your kids. Um, it's just kind of a, one of those best practices things to do, but we all struggle with it. Well, one day, my older son at the time, he was 14, and I caught myself raising my voice. And I think many of you could relate to that. And I was doing this and all of a sudden I had this moment where it occurred to me that my 14 year old son was going through puberty. Hmm. His brain is releasing hormones. His body's physically changing. His mind is physically changing. And it occurred to me that because of all these hormones, he's intoxicated like, like somebody who's been served too many drinks. So I had the awareness that he was going through puberty and not present. Then I looked at myself from a self-awareness. Holy shit, I'm yelling at a drunk. Like, how stupid is that? Then I was able to restrain my emotions and stop talking. Now, it's a little bit of a chuckle. Um, I did it. I'm proud of it. I love it because I can tell the story. Very easy for me to describe. Very difficult to execute because even after that, I caught myself a couple times in similar situations. But this is why it's so important to be able to pause and step out of yourself and kind of look at what's happened. I find a lot of people even arguing with other people on politics or, or religion. Most of those people are like, don't confuse me with the facts. My mind is made up. And for those that are arguing with them, it's like, oh, my intel great intelligence, I'm going to convince you to change your mind when the person's not listening to you. Yet you, you get more frustrated as that goes on. Um, it's kind of funny as a side during the last election or really elections recently when I'm working with people with emotional self-regulation, you know, if you were a Democrat, go watch Fox News. And if you're a Republican, go watch CNN News and just practice calming down um, and realizing that you can't control that. Um, but let's get back to the point. The point really is, is to understand emotional self-regulation is a reflexive reaction to something. Having the self-awareness that, hey, I'm trying to convince somebody of something and being aware at the same time that you're not going to convince them, their mind is made up as a means to pause and realize you should just close your mouth and walk away. And what you're doing is just a waste of spit. Maybe come back another day when the 14 year olds may be more so sober. Um, I don't know if that's possible, but the whole point is I really wanted to illustrate and give you an idea of what awareness, self-awareness and emotional self-regulation is and how powerful it is if you can pause and begin to be self-aware in an, an environment to downregulate, to um, move forward. Now, sometimes it's not so much it helps you, but at least it prevents the train wreck. For those new to our channel, please hit the subscribe button. We always like the new people who are interested in, our, uh, in what we do. Also, for our viewers, please comment. Also, if you've got anything to add, love that. Uh, we do what we do for you. Um, certainly like a contribution to the cause if you hit our thanks button. So with that, we hope you've enjoyed this edition of Attention Talk Video. Take care.